Well, hello and welcome to the Elliot Estate. Um, we are going to take the afternoon. It's right before dinner, so we'll see how much we actually get done. But we are going to clean up. Bless you. We're going to clean up our little courtyard situation. There's a lot of spring cleanup, some pruning of butterfly bushes, of roses. Um, so we'll see how much we get done. I don't know if I'll tackle any boxwood trimming, but I just want to kind of just meander around. There's some weeds uh, popping up uh, through our rocks and stuff. So just taking care of little bits this afternoon. It's so nice out. We are in central Ohio zone six and it has like been glorious today. Taylor has been spending the day um, up at grandma's gardens and I only got to help out a couple hours. So I think I'm just going to use this opportunity. It's almost 70 degrees. Well, it was 70 degrees today and it is like spring is here. It is fabulous and I'm like itching to just like start to clean things up and get things ready for uh, the season ahead. So this is our little courtyard area. Uh, we have a viburnum here on the corner and it has really started to blossom. Can you say hi Josie? Can you say hello? No. Uh, the viburnum has really started to put on some growth and the buds are starting to come out. Um, but we have some willy-nilly branches in here, so I might just prune that back. Um, and then a bunch of boxwoods kind of dashed throughout. We have a, uh, a lilac there underneath the window. And the obvious, you can see that we have rock beds, so a little bit different, no mulch here. Um, so the main reason was we have... Um, chickens that like to free range and we let them out daily and the idea of chickens flinging out mulch while they dust bath just drove me crazy so we went with rock but rock beds for that and then also a maintenance so we didn't have to mulch every every year and I really love the look and aesthetic that the rocks offer a little bit more of a pain in the butt to plant because we do have landscape fabric underneath the rocks um, but overall, it's been really nice. Will I regret it in years to come? I don't know, we'll see. But for right now, I'm really loving it. Um, back here, we have some roses and I wanna clean those up. And then also I wanted to mention, because we do have the landscaping fabric, I wanna um, pull the rocks back from like around the roots or like the balls of the, the base of the plants. And I want to um, leave room because I would love to come in here with like a compost ring uh, and then also for fertilizer to kind of reach, um, reach the plants a little bit easier. And I know that some fertilizers want to um, be more like on the, the outside rings of the branches, like the drip line of the branches. So if you're looking here at the lilac, the fertilizer should technically be out like around here but obviously that's not realistic with the landscape fabric option. So I'm just going to pull it back a little bit around the bases and then I'll add compost and then fertilizer that way. Figure that's better than nothing. So just the roses there, there's some incredible hydrangeas back here that I want to um, trim back and prune. A big butterfly bush right in here. And this one grows from the base every every year so I can literally trim that back to like maybe like a foot back you can actually see where I trimmed last year on that incredible hydrangea here so I can just cut that down um, by like a third you can see we got some blooms coming in there which I'm which is really really exciting and that's basically it just the butterfly bushes hydrangeas um, I already cut back my uh, cat cat mint am I thinking that correctly not catnip cat mint uh, last fall and you can see that's getting ready to flush out call that the poor men's lavender and then like I said butterfly bush hydrangeas roses in the back and then I'm gonna scoot the rocks back so that I can fertilize it so pretty simple like I said it's really nice out this afternoon and I just wanted to take the time to be outside and do some cleanup. Oh, and then I can clean up some annuals in those pots. I don't know if you guys feel this way or not, but we had a super mild winter here in Ohio. In Ohio and so it feels weird that it's already spring. Unless I was just pregnant and I just like blinked out, 
blanked out the entire winter. I don't know, but it just feels so odd. And we had a mild winter, so it's just, I don't know, it just feels very odd that it's already spring. <laughs> we are gonna get some tools quick. I got my big Rubbermaid wheelbarrow, which is God sent. And I'm gonna grab some of my pruners and my favorite pair of gloves here in the greenhouse. And I think that's all we're gonna need. At least we'll start there. I don't think I'll be doing any raking or anything. So let's go back up to the courtyard. I think I mentioned it. I got my hair done today. So if you can see my, my dye lines, that's why. If I, if you didn't, if you missed it on my first video, I mentioned that we are getting a new fountain for the courtyard to anchor. And it's going to be like to anchor the courtyard and it's coming from unique stone. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm so stinking excited. And we uh, got two doves and we are going to be building a little aviary. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> apiary right in here that's going to tuck in and then we'll um, have like vertical slats that go um, over the bottom of the deck so that way you can't see like underneath the deck so I have a little aviary a concrete um, a bigger concrete fountain for in the center I tell you what the spring is going to be phenomenal I'm really excited because I got all the pruning done. I didn't get into like any of the fertilizing or the composting, putting the compost around uh, the roots like I had kind of wanted to, but I, it was kind of a far fetch. So let's give you a little spin around. Starting up here, I got the hydrangea pruned down and then I got the butter, uh, butterfly bush pruned down. Um, we have some boxwood in here and then this is a some kind of juniper it's looking a little crispy pinpoint blue oh false cypress right in there but that's going to end up moving because um, if we do the aviary right in there uh, that's where it's going to be going um, the vines are a silver lace vine i want to say and those i will um those i will trim down here shortly uh, i want to get our railing um, purchased and then put that installed and then whenever we do that I will tear down all the vines because there is uh, new growth popping through 
um, but I like to keep it up through the winter uh, for the birds. Back here in this back corner, oh, I missed a big onion. We have a serious onion issue, and I don't know what, why or what is caused by that, but there are onions popping up everywhere. Um, I have three incredible hydrangeas, or no, maybe this, I think this front one is a bobo hydrangea, but the last two are incredibles, and they're just gonna like sock that corner right there. We have a emerald arb right there, which will be really pretty. It'll get like three feet wide and then it will just grow up and kind of cover that meter right there. And I got the roses trimmed back over here in this corner. They're little popcorn, um, popcorn roses. And then I noticed while I was cleaning out this annual pot, I noticed that the Dusty Miller, I believe that's what it's called right in here, is actually coming back so I just cut it back pretty well and if I want to use it in another pot I may just end up repotting it and reusing it somewhere else I trimmed back some of the lavender but majority I just tried to clean out the leaves that are kind of um, that were kind of surrounding that lavender um, I have three of them right in here that I did um, I have a little popcorn rose over here in this little corner so I uh, pruned that back and the majority of the stuff I was just kind of, well, beside the big butterfly bush that I did at the end, majority of the stuff was just cleaning up dead foliage and that kind of stuff. I popped some uh, weeds that were growing in the little pea gravel walkways, which are really easy to pop out since, uh, you know, we have the landscaping fabric underneath of the pea gravel. But it was just really nice to get out here. Like I said, it was 70 degrees. It's awesome right now. I don't know what the temperature is now but the sun is starting to set and we we're gonna have a beautiful little golden light, I can tell. Um, but Taylor, like I said, was at grandma's all day today and he was uh, mulching in front of her house and just getting some of those beds kind of cleaned up. Um, we've been uh, trimming things back and edging her beds really nicely and then also putting on a really thick layer of mulch and it looks so good. The, the before and after is so satisfying. <laughs> So I always find satisfaction watching others clean up their beds. So hopefully it was inspirational and motivating uh, for those of you that still have um, some spring cleanup to do in your beds. I have a whole, whole other end of uh, flower beds to get done yet. But today was this afternoon, I should say, this afternoon was satisfying. And like I said, next time I'll come in and kind of move those uh, rocks away from uh, the, the base of the roots and stuff. And then I'll uh, do some fertilizing and that kind of stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for visiting the Elite Estate.